Jesus said to walk in the light as He is in the light. We have fellowship one with another. But sometimes, when we look at the light, we find it's too bright. We find that we cannot walk in the light. We want to hide because we have some darkness within. But God wants us to come to the light. He says, Come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Come to me with your sins and your burdens and your transgressions. Come to me, and I will redeem you. Come to me, the Spirit and the Bride. God and His Word declare for all of us to come to Jesus. And yet, when our deeds are done in darkness, we choose not to come to the light. But when we do come to the light, God shines His light upon us. For He looks inside and He sees what there be. And if it be that there is a blessing that we have become unto God Almighty for the sins of the world, that we have laid down our lives sharing the gospel for those who are in need, then God says to us, Come unto me and I will bless you. But when we find ourselves in transgression, when we have crossed over the line, when we have sinned, when we have done iniquities, then that is the time we should come to the light. For God doesn't beat us as though He were some taskmaster telling us what to do and not having compassion upon us, but rather He decides for us that the light was meant to reveal in us the good and the bad even as He causes the sun to shine and the rain to fall on the wicked and the good. God knows and God sees. For even as He knows and sees, He wants us to be revealed by His light and His countenance shining upon us. For we pray that the Lord would bless us, that the light of His countenance would be upon us. And as it is, that light shines within us. And like a doctor who prescribes medicine, looks at an x-ray, and sees the light of the body as it's illuminated from the inside out, if he sees any darkness, then he says to remove that, for the darkness will kill the patient. And in the same way God comes to us, as He is light, He shines upon us, and He reveals to us our nature, and we shy away from that. We say, no, we don't want to know how bad it is within us. For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks, and God has said that out of the heart proceeds all these evil things that are inside us. But Jesus said, if our light, if our eye be full of light, how great the light there is therein. And if our eye be full of darkness, how great there is the darkness. And so when we look at the world as it grows darker, do we fill ourselves up with light? Or do we fill ourselves up with the darkness and become darker still? For God would have us to be full of oil like lamps that are trimmed and filled and shining bright in the darkness as the world seems to go in its way. God has caused us to lighten the way for others, to shine forth even brighter. For does not a star shine brightest at night rather than in the day? So God has caused each one of us to shine as He just designed us to be in this time, in this place, and in this way. So God causes us to come to Him in a simple way, in a humble way, each and every day, that we should come to Him and call upon Him when we are in need. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you and you alone have I sinned, and done this evil in your sight. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him, and his father had compassion, and his father ran unto him, and his father fell on his neck and kissed him. I have blotted out as a thick cloud your transgressions, and as a cloud your sins. Return unto me, for I have redeemed you. Your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake. God, for Jesus' sake, has forgiven you, that he might be just and the justifier of him that believes in Jesus. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean. They shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. This is he that came by water and blood, even Jesus Christ, for by water only, not alone, but by water and blood. And so too we come to the light 
to be cleansed and to be identified with that with which is within that is evil in the sight of God and by the water and the baptism we cleanse that which is without but by the water of the word we cleanse that which is within and as God has revealed the sickness that we have the sin and transgressions we commit he says come unto me and the spirit and the bride say come and God the Father says come and Jesus says come so that we might be cleansed by the blood of the Lamb that was shed for our sin. God caused him who came by water and blood to remove the stain that is upon our lives. So let us walk in the light. Let us learn from the light. Let us be that light that is God shining in the midst of us. Emmanuel, for God is in us. And if God be in us, then the darkness without cannot affect us. But we shine our light upon the world that they might see the good works that God has done in forgiving us and in cleansing us and in removing from us the iniquities that so easily beset us. Let the light shine upon you that you might see what is within like an x-ray that identifies the sin and then take it to God and come unto He who is the light who shines his countenance upon you, not for curse, but for blessing and for peace. For this is the reason that God has come unto you this day, to shine his light upon you as the Son of Righteousness rises with healing in his wings. So too we can be healed of the sin that besets us if we walk in the light.